Hello and thank you for um, coming and visiting my channel, Miami Star Tarot. I am doing a spread for what does this per how does this person feel about me and what do they want. Okay, so I will be doing a six card spread. The first half will be what, how they feel about me and the second would be what they want from me. Okay, whether you're male or female does not matter. Um, I, I am doing a series of different spreads. Um, because I just I have this um, this feeling like I don't know like I, I have a lot of energy to do this right now so I'm hoping this can reach as many people out there as possible the reads are not for everybody so please watch watch the chan uh, watch the the video and if you feel within the first you know three or four minutes that it really resonates with you then it's probably meant for you okay so I am going to uh, shuffle the cards again I am not reading it for a specific sign of the zodiac or anything like that it's just people out there looking for answers what this person thinks about you and what do they want from from to happen or from you or from their connection okay so what does this person think about you how do they feel about you and what do they want How does this person feel about you and what do they want? I need six cards and a clarifier. Six cards and a clarifier. That is way too many. How do they feel about you and what do they want? How do they feel about you and what do they want? Who's taking long? There's a lot of thought being put into this by the energies. Alright, how do they feel about you and what do they want? That one? Got the Six of Wands. They definitely notice you. Or they want you to notice them, but we're doing how do they feel about you, so they definitely notice. If your sign comes up or the sign of somebody that you know or the person you want comes up, that's even better, okay? The wand has a strong association with Leo. The six of wand does. But it's not the official Leo card, but it has an association. Neat. Oh, that's too many. I need five more cards, please. Five more cards. How do they feel about you and what do they want? A lot of thought being put. It's very stubborn energy. The Wheel of Fortune. They want a chance with you. They definitely recognize you, they have their eye on you, they see you as a prize, and they feel that they would be very proud to be seen with you, okay? You have the three of coins. How do they feel about you? They, they would like to enter some kind of a relationship with you. They want a partnership with you, okay? They want you to give them a chance. You got the Three of Coins, Wheel of Fortune, and the Six of Wands. Alright, so... 
how do they feel about you they absolutely absolutely want something with you they would feel very proud to be seen with you let me get three more cards please three more cards three more cards A little difficult to get. This information is not happening very easily. Okay, I could do these here. Okay, let me do the underlying energy. Is the moon. I love this moon card. It's a very beautiful moon card. Okay. You're always on their mind. Always. It's like you follow them around. You know that the moon's never gone, even when you can't see it during the day. It's always there, and if you look for it, you always see it. Okay? This person thinks very, very highly of you. Now, the moon card is also, it's about hidden things. It's about information that's not being told it could be about feelings that are under the surface that are not being revealed in this case i feel it is about their feelings for you and maybe they're not being ex very um, expressive about it but you are always always on their mind it, you are their moon okay and to some people if you say oh you are my sunshine okay that sounds beautiful but to this person you are their moon and it's a more emotional kind of energy than the sun. It's a female also. The sun's male, the moon is female. Doesn't mean that this is a female. It could be a, ma a male or female, but their feelings are a little bit more emotional than, uh, than if it was the sun, for example, because this is how the way they see you and the way they see their world is that they're very, this person is an emotional person and you just, I, I feel like you make them feel a certain way. And it's also a very sexual card. Not a lot of um, card readers I hear talk about that. But the moon definitely has a very, um, very sexual energy to it. Okay. So they definitely dream about you. It's, it's about anything that a person feels deeply for. Okay. Um, it could be um, that they... They want to tell you, but they're not sure how to tell you, so they're keeping it inside. It could also be um, a lot about the way they see you as how important you are in their life. So it's just, it's a very beautiful card, and I think that it really speaks to, just by looking at the picture, it speaks to how they feel about you and the way they see you, okay? You're always there as far as they're concerned. If they're busy with other things, but you're still there in the back of their mind. So how do they feel about you? They absolutely adore you, okay? They would be very proud with the Six of Wands to be by your side and to show you off to their friends, family, the world, okay? They do see you like that world. They want a chance with you. They would like um, to have the opportunity to offer you um, a relationship, offer uh, just being with you and, and spending time with you, okay? They see you as very, very beautiful. And I have a feeling that this person may have a little bit more like a darker side to them, not in a bad way, but this person might be into like some, I don't know, maybe paganism or something like that where they really view the moon as being life to them and which equals you. Okay, so I mean, it's just I can't, I can't, I don't know why I'm very impressed by the fact that this is how they feel about you and this is what you are to them. Okay, I feel like it's a very unique, this person definitely is not a flighty person, they're not fickle about their relationships, and they're definitely not um, coming and going with you if, if you guys are going to get together. This part down here is what do they want? They want to be able to tell you their feelings. They want to be able to express what they want. What do they want? I feel this, if this person can marry you tomorrow, 
it would make them the happiest person in the world okay you have the king of coins here that is longevity it's the perfect mate it is the most patient person in the world this person with the moon i could see it they're very very patient and they are willing to wait for you you have the three of wands here which shows a person waiting they are waiting they want this to be perfect they don't want to rush into it again if they could marry you tomorrow absolutely but they're also very willing to wait for you so i i just i love this i've not had the I think the moon as the overall energy about a feeling for somebody and it's just really it feels so perfect I think for whomever it resonates out there and I think that you know this person if this is resonating with you you're feeling this you absolutely feel this with this person and you feel it from them and you know I think that you feel the same way if you guys are already in a relationship I think this just kind of confirms if you've ever had if you have any doubts or if you're unsure about how this person is feeling I think this just confirms that you know everything that the vibrations and the connection that you feel the energy from them is definitely there it's all there and I feel that you can be open with this person. I don't think this person's very expressive. They may be expressive in their own way, but they're not, um, I don't think they're overly expressive. Like they, they don't, if you're not in a relationship with them right now, they don't quite know how to express everything that they're feeling. It's almost like they, they choose to keep some things inside because they are a very emotional type type so if this is a man they tend to have a little more emotions and feelings like that they show their feelings a little bit more than your typical man would if that helps if you're trying to figure out who it is um, but again I, I don't think that they like to express that they don't know how like they they just but they want to with this page right here they want to i'm going to pull a clarifier for this page right here again i started i grabbed the wrong deck here we go that's what happens when you have too many decks on the table if it's a woman if you're a man and this is a woman she may you know have her feelings and her desires for you but i don't think that she's quite quite ready to express all of it to you okay let me get a clarifier for the page of swords i can get a little bit more clarification for the page of swords And you have the nine of swords so it looks like it goes along with the mood of the moon I think this person you make them very nervous and I feel like this person might have a little bit of anxiety and I don't want to say anxiety issues but sometimes you know going with the mood with the mood of the moon as well is this person just tends to be a little bit more of a nervous energy and that's why it looks like they may have a hard time coming forward and expressing how they feel and maybe they just don't want to make themselves vulnerable because they're possibly not not really sure how you feel about them um, but absolutely very deep feelings that they that they have for you and I don't think you'd be, you'll be disappointed if you give this person the opportunity to to either ask you out or you ask them out I don't think they're going to disappoint you they really have the best of intentions for your relationship they want they want it all basically okay so that's all I have for you I hope that this resonates with some people please give me a thumbs up a like comment I would love to hear some feedback and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more thank you for visiting my channel Miami Star Tarot good night